set it, lift, here we go. When it comes to reps, set a goal in your head, do as many as you can. Bobby, how many are you gonna do? Scotty. Good. <laughs> All right. All right. Here we go. I'm getting busy too. Five, four. Everybody go with me. Three, two, and down if you can. If you cannot come all the way down, let's say you only come to here. Jerry, I'm going to quit. It looks good. She's straight. Mr. Piper, elbows back. Body straight. Bobby Stevenson, nice and clean. I'm done. I'm getting back to business. Six. You can see over there. Marie started without the chair. Now she's using it. You might want to start on the chair. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, Bobby, raise the leg in the air. Switch every five, okay? All the way down, all the way. Hey, Bob. How you doing, dude? You're doing plus. Took a lot of more, doesn't it? What's the gravity? Oh. Five, here's my speed. Six, I like it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I feel good about that, Dash. One, two, three, four, five. What's up? Six, seven, eight, nine. Finger and thumb are touching, it's hard. Do as many as you can, set a goal, and write it down. Looks just like pull up and down. Pull up. Pull up. Start that wall. Come on, under the fence. Back under the fence. Under the fence. Back under the fence. Now watch brain. If you go under the fence, then she's just rising up with her butt. And so she's doing one direction only. But look how slow and crazy. Back. My knees are bent, my back is flat, now all the body here. You want to collapse your shoulder blades together. If you lift out that way, it becomes a trap and shoulder exercise. That's right. the right thing. Okay, boys and girls? We got a big old 60 second break. Okay, so I have not done a video in quite a little while. Just wanted to let you all know I'm still doing P90X. And I'm getting towards the end of this thing. This is the last time that I'll be doing chest and back. I'm on my uh, second to last week. I got one more week after this. P90X has been awesome. Um, my wife and I were talking about this just the other day. She said, you should keep doing the P90X type idea or stay in that series because it seems to work the best with your body type. And uh, I, I think I agree with her on that. So. I think the great thing about P90X is you actually build mass while you're on P90X and you cut at the same time. It's kind of a unique thing. Like when I did Body Beast, I bulked up, but I really didn't like uh, some of the results. I liked the size that I put on up top and in my arms and in my shoulders, but I didn't like some of the extra that I put in here. And I think that just had a lack of uh, maybe a little lack of cardio involved in there. Like if I was going to go back and do Body Beast again, I would definitely mix in, do like a hybrid program of some sort to kind of go along with like this P90X idea. Because with P90X, I'm getting the weightlifting, but I'm also getting the cardio. You can tell I'm even winded still now after the chest and back workout, which really is not a cardio workout, but it's absolutely exhausting. And the amount of calories that you burn when you're lifting weights, when you're doing push ups, doing body weight exercises is uh, ever as much as what you're doing when you're doing cardio. And then the, the uh, calories that you burn after the workout as the day goes on is even much more than you do uh, with the cardio because uh, the, the, uh, the muscle has to repair itself. And so it's burning uh, extra stuff there. So I just really love P90X. I will say at the end of P90X, just like at the end of P90X2, it gets a little grueling. Uh, I am exhausted uh, to, the, to the point that mentally you go, oh no, I gotta do back and chest and back again. So I'm looking forward to finishing and uh, gonna do a hybrid program I think next with uh, Les Mills Pump and probably throw in uh, something. I don't know much about Les Mills Pump. It'll be my first time doing it. So I'll probably start out just doing Les Mills Pump and then I'll start adding in some other things as I go. So I believe less than those pump is basically a three day or a week workout and I like to at least do five days. Well, that's what I've been doing with P90X. Just uh, for those who have been following and, and wondering, 
I only do five days with P90X. I don't do day six and day seven. I think it's too much. And so I take the weekend off. I take, fr I take Saturday and Sunday off completely and uh, get completely refreshed. And it's great for today because like, I felt awesome the first round. Second round, I got winded. But on Mondays, you feel really good. Tuesday is a cardio day. Um, I typically mix in, instead of doing like Kenpo, I had a question about that. I don't do the Kenpo workout. I actually do the MMX workout from P90X3. So if you have P90X3, the MMX workout is better than the Kenpo workout as far as burning calories and all those kinds of things. It's 30 minutes exactly. It's a lot more fast paced. It's just a better workout, uh, I feel. So if you wanna uh, mix that in, that's great. I've never missed a day of yoga. Love my yoga, even though it's an hour and a half long. Yes, on yoga day, you have to set aside an hour and a half. You have to set aside that time. Now, I will say this, if, if you're just doing the yoga for the strength aspects of it, and, and not necessarily all the stretching and everything, if you do the first 45 minutes, you're done. Your last vinyasa is actually, I think it's 47 minutes long, something like that, 47 or 48 minutes long. Because when you end that last vinyasa, you got like 42 minutes left. Then you got balanced postures, you got stretching, you've got your shoulder, uh, stands and all those kinds of things. So, and then you also have your um, uh, ab workout in there as well. So I like to do the whole thing. I think it's a full body workout. I'm always sore after yoga. My back gets a little bit sore. Um, but this is a great workout. I can do more push-ups now. I think you, you'll be able to see on the video. I use the TRX bands for my feet. That engages the core more. Today I try to do I don't know, I'll check the video and check my form, but I try to do as many of my pull-ups without kipping at all. I try to do dead leg pull-ups. Um, instead of trying to go for quantity, trying to go for quality in my pull-ups. So think about those kinds of things. When you're first starting out with pull-ups, you have to kip a little bit. You want to start getting that feel, uh, getting up, getting that chin up over the bar. That's great. But as you get stronger, start straightening those legs out, keep them dead leg. If you're at home and having to use a door jam one, uh, hang and just curl your curl your legs a little bit so that your legs uh, are not helping you up Just kind of keep them back behind you. So there's some things you can do there to strengthen your lats uh, So they get a little bit stronger. I'm able to do 25 pull-ups in, in uh, one if I just going to go in the gym and do one set I can do 25 now P90X got me back to that. I used to be able to do that when I was in my 30s I haven't been able to do that for a long time. So Really happy that I've been able to get back because you do pull-ups at least two days a week and sometimes you do them as many as three days a week. So uh, you're, you end up getting really good in your pull-ups. You, you'll, you'll improve a lot. You'll see a lot of improvements. So just keep working at it and you're going to get better. P90X is extreme. It is tough. But uh, do what you can. Modify when you have to and you'll see results. It's going to be an amazing uh, journey that you go on. If you've never had P90X, you're looking to get a workout. Uh, in I'll put a little link right here. You can click on that link. You can pick up a copy of P90X or you can even do the P90X challenge pack, which is really what I'm doing. And that just includes uh, a month's supply of Shakeology and then the Shakeology will just come to you on a monthly basis. That helps kickstart your nutrition plan. To be honest with you, it's a full meal replacement. All your fruits, all your vegetables for the day is in one drink. So it's a real benefit for me. I, I'm not a vegetable or a fruit eater uh, much at all, especially vegetables. So it's nice to have a Shakeology where I can get all that nutrition into my body to start the day out. And I do my Shakeology, come to work, get a little bit of work done, and then I get right into my workout uh, before I have my lunch. So uh, it really gives me all the energy I need to get through my workout, and that's great as well. So keep pushing play. Uh, if you don't have a program and you're looking for something, uh, look me up and uh, I can help you out uh, as your Beachbody coach. Let me know what I can do for you. Talk to you later. Bye.